Here are the top three tools you should use before you start editing in CapCut. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. Before you can start editing your video in CapCut, there could be a couple of things that you can or you may actually need to do first. For example, you have to compress your video files to a smaller size for an easier workflow. Or you have to enhance your video files, including upscaling, fixing frame rates, denoising, or you have to convert them into a different file format to be able to edit your video. We're gonna check out three tools in the Uniconverter that you can use to perform these tasks. To get the Uniconverter, you have to go to videoconverter.wondershare.com and then download it for Windows and Mac computers. Now, once you have the software open, you'll find all of these three tools on the main interface. The converter is right up here, the compressor tool is over there, and the video enhancer has different features featured here, but they all take you to the AI video enhancer tool that we will use. So let's go through each of them and see how easy it is to use them. The compressor tool compresses your video and audio files without losing quality. And you may also compress them in a batch with the different compression ratios or you can just use one compression ratio for everything. Either way, you need to first import all of your files here that you need to compress. And then if you'd like to compress all of the files with the same ratio, you can select that down here from these presets or after clicking here with this slider, but alternatively, you can give each files a different compression ratio. To do this, you have to click on the settings icon next to each file. Now you'll get the best quality file size ratio if you keep this slider within the green area here. To initiate the compression process, just click on start all after you had chosen an output folder. The AI Video Enhancer has multiple features. It can enhance the overall quality of a video, for instance, fix a blur video, it can denoise a video, it can upscale one, give it a higher resolution, and lastly, it can interpolate frames, give a video a higher frame rate. We have videos covering all of these features, so I won't go over all of them, but for demonstration purposes, I'd like to show you how easily you can de-blur a video with this tool. Just import your blurry video here, and then click on the video enhancement feature, then click on export, wait for the magic to happen, and voila, this video is not blurry anymore and you can use it for your CapCut video. The converter tool is also an amazing tool. It supports over a thousand formats, so you can use it to turn any formats you may come across into one that you can use in CapCut. Just import your files into the converter, and then select an output format, either for all of the files on the list or a different one for each. Alternatively, you can also trim, crop and effect the clips before converting to prepare your footage even more before CapCut. To start the conversion process, just click on start all. <laughs> and that's it, super easy. These tools will ultimately make your job easier and help you make better videos. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let us know for any topic requests. We're happy to make any topics that you may suggest. But I'm going to thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.